Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video we're going to try out Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, Turtles in Time. Now why Hero Turtles? Um, in some parts of the world the word ninja was forbidden or you know they didn't want to use that word with that word with kids so instead of Ninja Turtles it was changed to Hero Turtles. I believe it was in Britain and if you'll also remember, as a kid, it's going to go in a little bit of uh, history here. We chances are, if you're a kid of the '80s, um, you remember the Ninja Turtles cartoon. Now, we all know who had their weapons. Leonardo had the sword. Donatello had the bow staff. Raphael had the size, and Michelangelo had the nunchucks. But in some episodes. Michelangelo didn't use any nunchucks. I think he used like um, a rope with a hook at the end or something, and that was his weapon. And probably as a kid, you're thinking, huh, where are his nunchucks? And that's because those episodes were the ones that were geared more towards these other countries where nunchucks were outlawed. So, let's give it a try. Uh, I, at one time, had the original hardware. I bought it. I had it in a uh, Turtles cabinet, which was for Turtles and Turtles in Time. And like a moron, I sold the cabinet. I sold the game. Uh, I was given a very good offer at the time. And at the time, I did not regret it. I made out quite well. But... Looking back, it's like, ah, uh, why did I sell it? Because this game is just continuing to skyrocket in price. Uh, I hope to one day get the game again. Don't know if I'll ever be able to. Just because this game goes for about six, seven hundred dollars now. Let it show! You know what? We're gonna go with Raphael. I would usually pick Michelangelo. But let's pick uh, Raphael. Hey, Quine, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag! The game seems to be running just a little bit faster than it should.
So there you are. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, Turtles in Time. It's same thing as Ninja Turtles, just a change in name. I always hated this level. I just now saw some screen tearing. Um, the controls are responsive, the sound seems good, but the game at times seems like it's just a tad too fast, like the movements of the characters are just a tad too fast. Other than that, you know, try it out. I think you'll like it. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.